Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about adding barcodes to reports. So, guys, uh, we all know that uh, printing barcodes in the reports is a very common requirement of the clients, right? So, uh, with Navision, we have the provision to uh, download some barcode fonts from the from from the internet and directly. Uh, use those fonts in our RDLC layout to print the barcodes. But uh, with Business Central, we all know that Business Central comes in uh, comes uh, with uh, two types like Business Central On-Prem and Business Central Cloud. So for On-Prem, there is no problem still because we can directly download some fonts and install it in our local server, local machine through which we can easily convert any string to that with respect to uh, to that uh, particular font so that it will be changed to the barcode but with business central cloud because uh, that business central cloud is not uh, hosted from your server from your machine so you cannot directly install the fonts uh, to that particular machine so how to print the barcodes uh, to that part we will cover in this video <coughs> So, uh, guys, as uh, you can see that this is the very nicely written article I have opened here. You can just simply type adding barcodes to reports through which you can easily understand the concept behind it. But obviously in this video, I will explain every bit of it. So, uh, first of all, let's understand and click on this uh, link here. What Microsoft is explaining that uh, in the system application, they have given us this barcode module. So there are certain objects which are uh, by default a part of the business central system app which we can use and uh, directly convert any of our string or sorry not convert but encode our strings to the barcode fonts. Okay so in case you want to use or you want to learn more about it you can always click on this link to learn about the objects but let's move further. Overall summary if I could uh, make you understand so there are two types of things first is the barcode provider like who is the service provider who give who uh, is providing those fonts which you can use okay and then the symbology symbology is nothing but uh, the different types of fonts like code 39 code 128 and so on okay and then the barcode encoder which uh, helps to encode our string to that particular barcode font Okay, so the summary is that Microsoft have given us one of the interface which is called barcode font provider and the encoder. Second things are the enum which includes the barcode symbologies. Okay, now we uh, if I show you, you, you can type here on the Google that ID automation. So this ID automation is one of the service provider okay uh, fonts provider from where you can buy the subscription and download the fonts from uh, this IT automation ID automation uh, font provider okay so this provides all sorts of barcode fonts QR fonts and every sort of stuff but uh, in case you already own a business central cloud then there is no need to to buy the fonts from this ID automation because Microsoft has already tied up with our IT automation and we are getting the support of these fonts out of the box itself. Okay, so <clears throat> here what they are saying that to start with, okay, so let me open the VS code here. I have already created a report, uh, a basic structure of the report. So let me show you how we can use those fonts and uh, those modules of barcode into our report to print the barcodes. Okay. So a very simple report I'm preparing here. Uh, this is like I have used the item, data item, and uh, then I've used uh, one column called item number, then the item description, and then one of the variable called encode string. So this is the column which will show our barcodes. Okay, so there are three things. Let's me write down the code side by side. So let's add on after get record trigger. Okay. And 
in the variable section, I will add all those variables which are the part of uh, the system application objects. Okay. So first thing is, uh, let me add one variable called barcode string. Okay. So this is nothing but the string which I want to encode as barcode. Okay. I my requirement is that I want to encode my number item number in the barcode. So I will. Uh, that's why I've created this variable in which I will pass this item number one by one and then I will encode that thing. Okay, so this is the first thing. Second thing is barcode symbology. So there is an enum called barcode symbology. It's a part of system application. You can use this. This holds the information, the options of all the different types of available barcode fonts. Okay. Third variable is barcode font provider. Okay. So this is of type interface. So the, the reason of giving this uh, object as a type interface is that in case you don't want to use the services of ID automation service provider and you want to create your custom, uh, you want to use your custom font provider and the encoder, then with the use of this interface object, you can easily create your custom uh, API providers, font providers, which you can use uh, uh, th by this interface and this enum. Okay, so this is very, very, uh, uh, very, very uh, nice feature called interface through which we are not forced to use the options provided by the Microsoft only, but we can, uh, by using the structure of the business central code, we can use our different custom service providers. Okay, so these are the three variables which we need here. So I've created the same. Let's write down the code. So the very first thing is that I want my item number to be passed in this variable because I want to encode my item number one by one into the barcode font. Okay, so that's it. This is the first line of code. Second line of code is that let's provide my interface about an about the information that who will be my service provider. So here in our case, as I told you that ID automation is by default a, providing a built-in support to convert any string or to encode any string into the barcode for the business central cloud version. So that's why we can utilize the service provider ID automation as a part of you know to my interface. Okay. In case you don't want to use that, then obviously you need to extend this enum with the with your service provider font provider name, and then you can pass the same to the interface. Okay, so now uh, after this thing, the third thing is that let's assign the symbology. So here, barcode symbology should be based on your need. So for example, the default I can use as code 39, but you can use code 128 and so on. Okay, so here is the, I have assigned this one. Now, I've already provided the information that who will be my font provider, what type of font I want to use, and what, uh, what will be the string which I need to encode. So all these information I've already, uh, I've write down via code. So let's go further and barcode font provider dot validate input so here we need to validate my input that whether this string can be converted or can be encoded to that particular font or not okay so this will test that thing now after this the last thing is that i want to encode my string to that particular font. So that's it. Now, because 
after this encoding uh, is done i need to pass this encoded font information to my column which i want to print in my layout okay so this is my variable which i want to where i want to show my barcode so this is the thing i have written that after the encoding is done please pass this to this uh, to the column which i will use in the rdlc layout right so that's it now our work is done we have successfully encoded my string to this particular font now after work is done let's build this and once you have once you build this you get this rdlc here you can see that my rdlc is rdlc is generated let's open it in the sql server report builder so that we can add a table and then show our report output let me add the table and this will be my number this will be my description and this will be my barcode okay and let's change this to this one and now see we have successfully added the barcode to my data set right but now we need to add this barcode font as well to the rdlc so there are two things guys now that in case you are preparing or you are building this support for the business central on prem so as i have told you earlier that you need to install as well the barcode fonts in your local machine and once you have successfully installed then you need to select that column and from here you can change to the respective font which you have downloaded and installed but you can see here that i have not installed any of that particular font and that's why it is not available here uh, which i can change into and there's uh, my string will be converted to the barcode so i cannot use this right now here but because i am building it for my cloud solution and there is no need to install the barcode fonts explicitly to your machine so once you added the table and added your columns just save it and close it and now go back again to your rdl layout uh, code and here what you need to do is that you need to identify that where you want to which column you want to change so this column which i really want to change and thus let's search here font okay it's not coming let me see we are done with this let me change back to this one so we need to search this string let me search here strange it is not showing guys there is definitely some problem out there let me again open to the sql server report builder so fonts are done fonts are done for this as well let me just explicitly change it to something like this and close it
now text box okay now font family is coming so here uh, you guys can see that i have added a uh, bell empty so it is showing that thing in, but i don't want this i want a different font so let's open this and uh, here microsoft is giving us the information that to print the barcode for your business central production environment we have to use the purchase font only and not the evaluation font so the purchase font which is uh, specifically can be used for uh, code 39 is id automation hc 39m okay and the evaluation font is id automation sh c 39m demo okay so let's copy this and change it back to this particular font here okay and save this guys i know that this font i have not installed personally in my laptop so you guys may feel that it will not work but because i am deploying this application and this extension to the cloud environment hence there is no problem by default this font get supported have a have a built in support for the business center cloud so it will definitely work so let's without uh, any further delay let me build the project and let me deploy the project so here we have done two things first of all we add the barcode to the report data set then the second thing is that we have changed the font of that particular column where i want to print the things as a barcode okay so i have done that now and now i am deploying this report so let's see the results my report i have not used any particular name of the report or any add any caption so i need to search with the name my report only so once it is open up we will see the output okay let's search here my report okay click on this and let's run it for all the items and here it is you can see that my item number my description and the barcode which holds the information of the item number because we have encoded my item number only with the code 39 font right and you can see that barcode is successfully printing in my cloud environment there is no need to install the fonts explicitly to your local server or the local machine okay so we can see clearly that all the item number information is successfully converted as a barcode so with that note i have covered the information which i wanted to in this video for this topic thank you very much for watching this video i hope you have learned now to how to how to print the barcode for the business central cloud version uh, in case you have any uh, any questions or confusion i i will add this link to the description section so that you can uh, read this complete article to know and understand about this uh, printing barcode to the reports in a more depth manner so thank you so much uh, in case you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you